Norway spruce was planted back in the 30s in the CCC days, and it's not native to the U.S., it's native to Norway, and, uh, but it was planted as a species. And it's been used for pulp over the years, but now we have a lot of uh, trees that have a lot more value for uh, use in lumber, for building houses, for example. But it's never been evaluated to see how strong it is because we want to make sure that when you build things, they don't fall down. So you need to make sure that those numbers are right. You must have a val strength value in order for a sawmill to use a, the product to saw into construction grade lumber. In other words, you can't grade it until it has a design value for it. We're doing um, destructive testing of big pieces of wood. We're testing them in, in flexure, bending them. We're pulling them apart in tension. We'll be doing some small testing of squeezing them and what we call compression, and also another test that's called uh, shearing it apart or, or sliding it apart. Once it goes through the process, and if it gets approved, um, the infrastructure's right there. The, the mills know where this wood is, and they could, they could start using it um, so within six months. Cross-laminated timber, uh, or sometimes it's now called mass timber, is a newer construction technique where you combine a lot of wood uh, and make the walls, floors, and roofs from this, these single, in essence, pieces or glued up pieces of wood. It's a better renewable source than concrete or steel, because you can recycle concrete or steel, but both of those need to be manufactured at a higher level than CLT. CLT, you harvest the wood and you can put it right together. So it's very easy construction and it's just as easy to put it together on site. So it really reduces labor cost, speeds up construction, but it's also self-insulating. It has high thermal properties, so there's, there's a lot of benefits. So I'm testing for high growth thermal properties, which means heat and moisture transfer. So that we have a couple of sensors embedded inside this uh, panel and they will like sense like changing temperature and humidity along with the transfer. So we use that data to analyze what's going on. What they're looking at is to use this in, in uh, mid to high rise uh, buildings, four, six, eight. They've built buildings up to 10, 12 stories, but they've never built anything from spruce, pine, fir, uh, which is Norway spruce would be part of that. So really potentially this Norway spruce could be used in a CLT product. Forests are really important to everybody on this world. It's one of the most important ecosystems. It's important to animals, it's important to water, but it's also important for the products that it gives because we've got, what, eight, nine billion people now and people need places to live, they need materials. And if you've got a sustainably managed forest, there's nothing more environmentally responsible than using that forest to make things for people, for society. That's not all a forest is for, but that's certainly one of the things it's for. And I view being involved with wood science, being involved with forest products research is very environmentally responsible and needed.